talk to you? Why did you walk up to us to talk to you? We were running around with you. Indians, that's why. Oh, the Indians, they come to America yes. because they want a better life. Yes. But they're obviously not living the great life in India. You are the one who's racist. Why do you make comments like that? You come to our country and you want You just said you're Mexican. How how does that make sense? I'm a Mexican American. I was born here. What makes you think that we are not Americans? What makes you think that we are not? Because of the way you speak. Because I'm a Mexican American. But I'm speaking to you. I'm Mexican. And I paid my way here. What? Why would you come and talk to us and make a racist on camera? Don't, 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 That woman is, according to her, an American citizen. And America is very, very lucky to have her and people like her. That was a absolutely horrible attack, a literal physical attack against a group of Indian American women happening apparently in Dallas. And look, we've seen this sort of thing before. All, all of the elements are there. The focus on where someone was born, the attacking the way someone speaks, the feeling the need to involve yourself in the life of other people who are just trying to go about their life. Those women had apparently been out, they went to a restaurant. And then they were accosted by this insane, this violently insane person who thankfully, and this is the good news, and we don't often get to say this, was caught almost immediately. And so she is now facing charges. You can see this picture right here, Esmeralda Upton facing charges. This confrontation happened just Wednesday night outside the 60 Vines restaurant in suburban Dallas. On Thursday, Plano cops identified her and announced her arrest in the afternoon. She's facing one charge of assault bodily injury as well as one charge of terroristic threats. She's being held on a $10,000 bond and there might be other charges because the cops say they are looking into this as a hate crime, which seems very reasonable. I don't know what else you could classify it as. Brett, what do you think? In some of these Karen videos, there's ambiguity as to who's at fault. And that's when I understand the Karen pulling out the camera. But mm-hmm. after you're just hurling racist epithets at people, for you to then take out your camera and film it, like, what do you think you're capturing? Because it isn't going to exonerate you. No, not at all. No, <laughs> it's good. It's good to see justice. No one should experience anything like this. These women must have been terrified. Because it's Dallas. That woman could have pulled a revolver out of her purse and started shooting. You don't know. It'd just be so terrified. You just hate their accents. That's all it is. That's like, all it is. Uh, and I'm not an expert on people who come from South Asia, but I did just watch Never Have I Ever this last season. Hammer watched it, went all the way through. Indian people are delightful. You should get to know them. And there's an easy access way to get a little bit of cultural knowledge into your daily life. And it's on Netflix. Thank you. Check it out, I guess. It's, it's anyway. so dumb. It is so hilarious. Like, does this woman hate her mom? Does she talk to that that way about her mom, like her family who came to America? You realize for you to be born here as a Mexican American, someone in your family was not born here and was in this exact same position, you doink. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's look, this is this is what so many awful Americans are like. It's like, oh yeah, no, I, I get that it's like sort of the same thing, but but I'm an I'm an American. I get to be in there. You don't get to be an American. And even the way she described it in real time was, yeah, you know those Indian Americans, they come here for a better life. It's you, like you it's sound like they, you sound like the villain in your telling of the story. You sound like the villain. They sound like good people. It's also like, and you don't speak English. It's like I hate to tell you about the colonial history of of India. Uh, really quick, like yeah, there's a lot of English spoke there. They speak it there. In their mm-hmm. own country, for reasons that I think you should be madder at. Yeah, yeah. Just I. Can we be free of this? Like this just happened this week. This is the thousandth incident like this that has been taped. At least <laughs> right now, there are people like little sleeper cells of Karen in cities around the country waiting for their day to do this. We've been lucky that up until this point. They haven't been within earshot of someone just speaking to other people. But if that ever happens, then oh my God, they're going to be unleashed. 
And there's a lot of unfair stereotypes about Indian Americans. None of them are that they come to America and leech off society. Like there's a lot of uphill battles that Indian Americans have to fight against their perception in this country. None of them are that they're lazy. Yeah, she doesn't she doesn't even understand her own racism. Check out the Damage Report podcast each day, wherever you get your podcasts, whether Pocket Casts or Stitcher or iTunes. You can join me as I give you the news and stories you want, with a range of co-hosts and interview guests jumping in on the fun each day. Again, that's the Damage Report, wherever you get your podcasts. And if you get them at iTunes, don't forget to rate and review. Sometimes I'll read them live on the show.